Things are starting to really heat up in this Pangea map. For the most part, the borders have been settled. The AIs are pretty much gearing up for war. I'm trying to build up my own military, trying to build up my wall, because I, I don't think there's going to be anything but a world war to end this series. Well, maybe not exactly a world war, but certainly a pretty huge continental war. So I've been very, very aggressive with how much I forward settled the AI. That's just this type of campaign, man. I was feeling it. I was feeling it in this series. I was like, you know what? I am going to settle a ton of cities. This is going to be my 10th city, and I'm just going to put it I'm just going to put it smack dab in the middle of the American Empire. Now, this actually might not be that bad because remember Teddy does respect people that have cities on his home continent, but I'm not sure if he also requires those empires to not go to war with people. I mean, that's the whole thing. He he doesn't he has big stick diplomacy, which which sounds very strange when you look at it. When you say that but anyways likes p peaceful civilizations that have a city on his home continent so initially he might be upset but maybe if he sees that i'm peaceful maybe things will get a little bit better um i don't know because i have no plans on going into any offensive wars myself i know that there's going to be someone declaring war on me probably greece or scythia now over the break i have been exploring you know slightly uh scythia also settled this very very annoying city but luckily i grabbed uh, the other side of the cliffs of Dover, so she would not be stealing away any of my yield. I was going to flip, right? She didn't steal away my yield, right? Yeah, this is my yield. So that's still pretty annoying. However, however, uh, I'm still, I still have the suzerain bonus here with uh, this city-state. So at least they should be able to take care of, hopefully. I mean, they just have warriors. Now that I think about it, I, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I met over the break Rome and uh norway was it i don't i don't know but we, we have oh japan yeah so rome and japan were the only other ais that i had not met yet so yeah we are definitely on the on the eastern hemisphere of of this giant landmass. and this is kind of where i'm thinking about next i don't see anything over here so i'm i might send over a scout or something because i might continue to expand and we'll split up our chinese empire into uh two halves but uh because i mean right now due to our our, our We've been playing very wide, but it's working out for us. It's working really, really well out for us. I'm also continuing to build builders. Man, this campaign is China uh, and getting the pyramids. It is we're so lucky because there are just so many tiles still to improve. I've settled so many cities. There, there are just still so many resources out there that are unworked, and I'm trying my best to, you know, to send around one builder to go do it all. But it takes a while to get back and forth. So I might go back to serfdom for a little bit. I might uh, switch this around and get my, my serfdom economic policy really quick so I can you know pump out a few hardcore builders because this is the time to do it. This is definitely the time to do it. I'm making 89 gold per turn because since I met Rome and Japan and they didn't have any negative modifiers with me. Uh, actually, Rome probably likes me because I'm settling a bunch of cities, so we're probably going to be pretty cool. You know what, by the way, are we cool? Are we cool? You, we're not interested at this time. Okay, interested. That's, that's fine. Um, I believe I got up an embassy with somebody. But I don't know if it was, oh, it was with the Congo. Because I've got no religion, so he doesn't care either way. If I had a religion and I didn't spread it to his cities, he'd be unhappy. But I don't have a religion, so it's all good. So anyways, let's go to the next turn. As I said, I am. Uh, I haven't really done too much work on my wall. Uh, I plan to do so right now. As soon as we pump out a builder from this city, we're just going to, boom, come straight up this way. We're going to have connecting tiles very, very soon. I've had to buy a lot of these tiles, which is unfortunate. It's kind of, I don't know. Um, I'm going to ignore this request because I am not willing to send my pikemen any other place. I do not think so. Okay, so we've got a limit of, or we've got our trader limit to five. I'm sending them back to my capital. We're not doing as many internal trade routes anymore because it's not as necessary. It's good, like, maybe the first round, getting a city from one population to, like, four or five really quick. But after that, nah, 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 nah. I've been kind of shaping this city to be my, my big... Uh, my big port city, my big harbor city, and uh, I'm going to continue to try to do that. I'll probably build the lighthouse here, give it some extra housing, citizens a slot. That sounds like a, a good plan to me, and uh, this city needs desperately an encampment. I've been trying to build encampment districts along perimeters. Ooh, what's that? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We can't get any of it. Who get it? It was Norway that got it? It looks like it was Norway that got it. So yeah, as I said, we are going to be settling in America's continent just barely, but uh, that should be interesting. I don't want to buy tiles, but I want to connect my borders here. These are the final few cities that need to connect our borders just in case something funky happens. Now, luckily, we should naturally grow towards the Niter. I'm hoping this city naturally grows towards the Marsh, because that's a good that's a good tile to get a hold of. 
And let's get the granary because we did just settle right in the middle of the desert. And uh, I just want to do it. I just wanted to forward settle the AI just to make things even more tense. Now, I want to say it is extremely likely that I might lose this city. This might be the first city I lose in Civilization VI. Um, I don't see how I'm going to. I mean, it is completely open terrain. I, I don't have any units here to protect it. Uh, I'm kind of expecting to lose this city, but but we'll see. Let's let's have faith. Let's have faith, Drew. Come on, man. Don't don't be so pessimistic all the time. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I have no idea. We'll see. Okay. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and I guess get it off the ground a little bit faster. Here we go, Shanghai. Uh, also, doing this is pretty nice because we connect infrastructure back to our our capital city, which is what I I really like. Okay, so now from the capital, I've been trying to focus on gold because we need a lot of money. Going to Rome gives us 14 gold per turn. That is a route that's very unsafe, especially if Scythia declares war on us. Ooh, Lisbon will probably give me a bunch of money back. 16. Yeah, because Rome gives me faith back. I don't care about that faith. Don't be giving me that faith. Okay, so I'm going to go to Lisbon. Sounds like a good idea. And as I said, and I've tried to... You know, I wish I would have made this more of a key, a key component of this series. But, and I've said it a few times, but not enough, I feel like. These city-states are going to have huge impacts on whatever wars we get into. I'm still the suzerain with uh, with the cultural city-state. However, um, I've kind of lost my status here with the militaristic city-state that borders Greece. I've been trying to you know, invest in Brussels, which actually I might have a chance to. They, they only have a top of five envoys sent from somebody. They only have a, yeah, top envoys five. How about this science city-state? Yeah, that's going to be a lot more difficult, but I'm not as concerned about them. And Brussels, Brussels and this militaristic city-state aren't as invested upon because, you know, they're on the, as I said, eastern side of the hemisphere. So less, less civs are as worried about those city-states. Okay, um, you know what, can you just ignore this guy, please? Let's just move on. Completely ignore him. If you could find a little empty island for me, that would be nice. And I am having uh, quite a bit of housing issues, which is around the time period where I tend to have... Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a little bit scared. She was getting that spear ready. I was, I was waiting for like some sort of 3D action. She was going to stab me through the through the screen. I don't know. It's, it could be a possibility. Who knows? Okay, so my builder is here. I've got three turns before the Enlightenment Civic is discovered, which means I'll be able to change my government around a little bit. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Five food, four production, and two gold back. And two gold is because of the policy, but yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and do it. Brussels is becoming even more of an important factor because Brussels not only borders Greece, but also America. So, and also Brussels is, is a city-state that provides extra production. Uh, I could definitely use that. I've built quite a bit of industrial zones, which I, I really like in this campaign. It's just one of those things where you can kind of build those guys anywhere and get quite a bit of production out of it. Not anywhere, but you know, of course they've got adjacency bonuses. Okay, so University, you did just build a builder for me. Thank you very much. Um, I might chill on the builders for a little bit. Well, no, not for a little bit because I'm going serfdom. I think universities is a smart thing to mass spam because I think that so far, a science victory is really the only thing I could probably achieve in this map. Uh, a cultural victory, it just, I mean, it was just something that I, I, I don't know how much tourism, you know, I don't. who knows? The Great Wall might give us a lot more tourism than I'm expecting, but... I didn't go for great people at all, at all, and I don't know how much that is going to factor in. I'd imagine quite a bit. I'm going to build a scout here uh, because I do want to explore the eastern coast of this landmass. Yes, let's finally get something going on in those bananas. That sounds like a good plan to me. And then let's head up north. Uh, I've got three boats right now exploring. There is not going to be any sort of second area here. There's definitely not going to be any sort of smaller island, which would be nice. I feel like that needs to be a thing all the time. And and also, yes, as you can see, my empire has been pretty much um, just, we're smack dab in the middle of religious theological combat. I'm seeing it all the time, but it's between mostly um, Hinduism, yes, and, and Islam of Greece. That's kind of what we're seeing most of it. Okay. So, um, we did just get the technology for universities, now I'm going after banking, and then after that I need to go for the field guns. Field guns will be helpful, I've got a few crossbowmen that I might want to convert over. Crouching Tiger, I guess I'll put you there even though you only get one range, I hate that. It would, have been an, it would be an amazing unit if they didn't debuff it practically and give it only one range. Gotta, I gotta say that. 
it would be incredible, but no, yep, not that. Whoa, oh, that's not good. Suzerain lost here. Okay, yeah, that's not good. I'm wondering if Scythia is probably investing more. It's uh, it's Rome. Holy crap, Rome, stay out of. <coughs> Excuse me. You gotta stay out of this, buddy. You've got to stay out of this. I need this city state. Although you know what, I will admit, you're not that powerful. You got just warriors running around. So uh, I don't know if every city state's gonna be like that. Brussels certainly isn't. But might be because they're in the middle of the tundra. Whatever is contrary to nature. It might be because they're in the middle of the tundra. Okay, so we need to change some things, things around. One of them being, um, I need to upgrade. At, at, I need to get a discount, discount for my upgrades. So I'm making 105 gold per turn. That's probably a little bit too much. I'm probably getting more by keeping Merchant Confederation. Yeah, let's do this. Bamo. Let's keep our amenities. I like that. Um, did we get anything that I really... No. Actually, we did not. Wait a second. Did Surfum go away? Oh, I was going to say. I know it eventually goes away. Let's keep our gold high. And let's just do newly trained builders. Yeah. This 20%. I wish this was more. This I really think Lancer Varus should be more. 20% is not that much. I don't know. 30. I would take 30. Like, it doesn't need to be that much more. But 20 is just not that in... Yeah. Not as much as I'd like. Okay, let's confirm those policies. Thank you very much. Um, in terms of civics, we are definitely falling behind. Not as far behind as Norway, though. Mr. Norway's not doing so well. Civil engineering might be a good idea. I wish I would be building... I wish I was building more in terms of... Uh, I wish... What am I, what am I trying to say? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Never mind. We're going to ignore that I said that. Okay. Oh, Wonders was what I was going to say. Wonders. I should be building more Wonders. Colonial War, even though I probably won't be able to declare war on anybody anytime soon. Here's Neighborhoods, which is what I really need. But yeah, go Nationalism first, and then we'll go Mercantilism. Let's see, how can we boost this? Grow City to 15 population. We might get there. I, th I think we will, actually. Um, ooh, it's going to be close. My capital is kind of struggling, as you can see. Okay, so now's the time to build a builder in two turns. Wow, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Medieval walls, probably a great idea for you to build because you're struggling all around. Although an industrial zone might not be terrible either. You just need to get, you just need your tiles improved. That's really it. The city is struggling because it doesn't have any tiles to improve. You know what, build the walls because I don't want to lose two cities. I do think Shanghai, very likely I will lose it. Um, but yes, should I go? Ooh, I'm thinking open borders. Oh, he denounced me. There's no way. Yeah, I was thinking Teddy. Give me some up borders. Gorgo denounced me as well. But that's the only two, so that's not too terrible. Well, we can walk through here. Um, How's the city doing amenity-wise? It's at zero. So I kind of don't... I don't want to... Uh, I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, we're going to have you explore. Probably not automatically. That would be stupid. You know, come over here too. I'm going to get two so I can, yeah, we let's get two scouts on this job because uh, I'd like to start settling over here. There's no more room in the middle of this continent. Good. Give you extra housing. That's something that we definitely need. Um, okay, so I can't build the wall here. Is that because, yeah, I've got to remove this feature for, first. Does this cost a building action? I don't know. Let's do it anyways. I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, so I think the number one civ in terms of technology is Germany. Yes, for sure. So we're going to want to send you to Germany. Yeah, so let's send you to Germany and see if we can't steal some stuff away. I don't even know. We don't even know where Germany is. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty big problem. We don't even know where Germany is. Um, you never want to lose control of Germany. You know, we might as well go to Greece anyways then. They're ahead in technology, at least. Okay, yeah, so we're going to go to Sparta. That way, at least we're... This is definitely the right Civ to send a spy to. Or Scythia, one or the other. Alright, well, we need to find Germany. Hopefully we can. Russia? Oh, that's right, I forgot I add. I always add another Civ. Okay. Yeah, so let me sample your... Sample your hospitality. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I didn't realize that I had filled this map out. That explains why this is such an intense game. And why all the borders have closed down. I played one Pangea map on Prince difficulty. And, you know, I will give it credit. It was Prince difficulty, so there's not as many settlers. There's not as much aggressive expansion going on from the AI. But, man, it was terrible. And I stopped playing Pangea, like, forever after that. Because I it was, there was just so much open land. 
this campaign is really, really fun because there isn't any land left. There and and I, it's pretty exciting. Oh, really? Why? I is it because of a road? That really sucks. There goes my whole plan, and I just removed that feature. Okay, so it does not cost anything to remove um, something like that, though. I don't even know if I can build it inside. Wait, that does not make any sense. I think it might have to do with the fact that there's a road here. Possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, yeah, so I want... Ooh, two forts near territory. I will not be getting that anytime soon. I'm looking at this... Whatever, 12 per... Or, yeah, 15 per turn. And I'm like, no, I don't know. I don't like that. And I don't even know if it's a good idea to rush to the industrial era just yet. Frigate might be fun. Uh, a fort, renaissance walls, scientific theory. Maybe I could rush for that wonder. 20% science in this city and awards two randomly chosen free technologies. Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe. Maybe that's what we can go with. Let's just go with four turns because four turns for mass production. Like, that's, you can't, you can't pass that up. Yeah, you cannot pass that up. Okay. Let's keep on exploring. Let's find Germany. I don't know what they're doing in terms of their sciences. The sciences is pretty pretty crazy. They need to calm calm down a little bit. Now they've got remember they also have crazy production. Germany's really good science because of their Hanses. They're able to build those Hanses everywhere. And that's like part of the big reason I'm gonna just ignore this. Uh, that's part of the big reason why again, science victory is not exclusive to just the science yields. You also need the production to be able to build these guys up. I might start removing these rainforest tiles. This city needs something else. Are these hills? Are they all hills? They're plain hills. Yes, they are. Well, here's just a regular hill. This is also going to... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it just because I want to remove some of the time it takes for this university to get built. There we go. I like it. Okay. All right, so there's tons of things I need to work. First of all, let's go to the jade and let's work this jade from this city. Let's get the amenities online first because that's pretty important. I can't believe you don't have a campus yet. It's because I haven't had a place to build the campus. Alright, so here's your campus right there. Right, I mean, I don't have a good place to build a campus. There's plenty of tiles open, but we don't have a good good particular place to build it at. Alright. Uh, we should probably, yeah. I done goofed. Drew done goofed. I'll admit it. I will admit that. Should not have done that. Now, we get better adjacency bonuses if we do, like, these, like, not exactly a straight wall. Uh, if we were to do, like, curves and kind of what people are calling it on the subreddit. Jeez, that's so loud. The spaghetti wall. It works a little bit better, usually. If we do a spaghetti wall, we get more uh, adjacency bonuses. So I might try that instead. If we can't do some massive wall, obviously the walls will still need to be get built along this side. But but we'll see. I'm going to stop right there. Let's turn 190. Yeah, Brussels has a lot of units. They need to be the sieve that I am super cool with because... Uh, that just needs to be the thing. Anyways, guys, let me just place this down right here. Boom, there's a little bit more production for you. I've been saying this the whole game. I don't have a specific victory type to go for here. I think that the science victory is really the only thing that's going to be achievable. So I've got to build campuses in every single city. There's a lot of cities that don't have campuses. That's not a good thing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.